I've got a black bush. I've got a red bush. <laughs> we, know, we know way too much about each other. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Worth a Dram. I am Grim. And I am Red. I don't know why I was telling you that I'm Red. You know that already. <laughs> After a year, I think I should. Happy one year anniversary, buddy. Happy one year anniversary. I'm, I'm that's excited. Yeah. You know, we've been doing this for a little while now. We did it. We're going the distance. We're going for speed. Uh, I don't know. I'm not all alone. All alone in a time of need. But I'm, I'm not, though. But I have you. Yeah. I got you, babe. Okay. <laughs> I just had that in my head, too. <laughs> um, if you want to take a look at our first episode, uh, you can go ahead and do that. I have not cut my hair since then. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> Does it? I don't yep. know if you can tell. Uh, can you even... Do, do your hats even fit anymore? No, that's why I don't wear okay, hats yeah. on the show anymore. <laughs> All right, so. So, first episode was Whiskey 101 with Bushmills. Whiskey 101 with Bushmills. Hence the title, Whiskey 201. With Bushmills. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, we're not going to... I We could have revisited the old mash, but... Yeah. Why? When we've got a couple of... Bushes. Thick bushes here. <laughs> uh, this episode's going to get a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Uh, you guys have been with us long enough. You know that we have the humor of uh, middle schoolers. Yep. So, uh, that's not... That's going to hold up tonight. So, <laughs> for sure. Uh, so, I'll tell you what. You, uh, we get to start off with the red bush. Red bush. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I am, uh, I am partial. Ooh. This one's a twist. I like it. I happen to notice before, yeah, before attempting to pull the cork. Yeah, before you try to pull the cork out of a twist top. Yep. That's happened to me. There's some left over in there. I'm going to... We're getting full. Yep. I th Actually, you know what? I think with these pours here, this is going to finish off our whiskey. I think so. Which, I mean, it started with I mean, Bushmills. It did... Oh, man. Look at that. It's like a circle. It rhymes. Yep. Um, how many circles How many circles do you know rhyme? <laughs> perfectly balanced is all things should be. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> For those of you that may not have caught the first episode or maybe don't remember, whiskey is a super broad category. It sure is. It is a... <laughs> as we have noticed. As we have noticed. <laughs> it is a distilled and fermented mash of grain that is aged in wooden barrels. Actually, it doesn't even have to be aged in wooden barrels. Not anymore. Not anymore. It can just be because moonshine's whiskey, right? So yep. that's not aged. Yep. So... Uh, it's a distilled and fermented mash of various grains. And over the last year, we have done Japanese whiskey, we have done scotch, we have done rye, and I can already smell that it smells delicious. <laughs> Irish whiskey, we've done Canadian whiskey, we've done... All of that is whiskey. Yep. You can split it up however you want. Under that, that's all whiskey. Oh, my infographic. Right here. Yeah, step aside, step aside. It's a, it's a big one. It's right here in the middle. That's what she said? Yep. Okay, good. After dark, we're going to pull them all That's, out yep. tonight. <laughs> uh, so, like you said, um, Red Bush Bushmills absolutely falls into that category. It does. Of a whiskey. Of a whiskey. Uh, so Red Bush in particular. <laughs> this is, this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Man. We've already been drinking a little bit too, which... We've been yep. celebrating. It's our one-year anniversary. It's special. Anyway, uh, Red Bush is a blend of, I think, a single malt and a grain whiskey. Yes. Um, this one in particular, I think, is aged more than three years. I think it, yep, aged for a minimum of three years. Minimum of three years, yeah. Um, and an Irish whiskey after my own heart, it is aged in ex-bourbon barrels. Yeah, um, and it's exclusively in ex-bourbon barrels. So Bushmills Original is also a mix of malt and grain. Mm-hmm. Um, as you remember from our first episode. However, the Red Bush is a higher percentage of the single malt than it is the grain, and then yep. aged exclusively in ex bourbon barrels. Sorry, I'm already getting the sniffer. No, it's good. I like it. Man, and that, that sweetness comes through yep. from the barrels. It's, and it's it's kind of thick on the nose a little bit. It's not, so like the scent, it's like the fragrance isn't really that powerful. Yeah. But it has a very, a very thick presence. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't wrong when I said this is a thick bush. It is a thick bush. It's like Fangorn Forest. Oh my god. <laughs> let's, 
<laughs> Let's stick our noses in this. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to. I mean, hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? You do. But yeah, I mean, so you get some of the traditional kind of Irish whiskey flavors. It's it's. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm it trying together. to play it straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Traditional Irish whiskey sense. Yeah. All right. We need a. We need a. Yeah. All right. Can okay. We get loosey goosey here a little bit. Okay. All right. Kind of got that. Um, there's those traditional Irish whiskey flavors. So there's that light airiness. Um, I tried to put a little spin on airy to be like. Yeah, I heard air, like the land of air, like Ireland. It's air. Oh, I'm close enough. <laughs> I apologize for every Irish person I've just offended. Um, so light, airy, um, <clears throat> kind of that sweet, almost buttery yep. uh, and then that bourbon barrel kicks in and you gotta get that sweetness yes I still remember from our first episode and the first bar cart that I did and actually quite a few fluffers that we did with the Bushmills the original expression has like a cool scent on the nose yeah like it's 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 got like a, a kind of a punchier fragrance yeah this doesn't it's a little more subdued I think it's a little more whoop better rounded yeah and i feel like and maybe it's because i know it's a higher malt i feel like that roundness comes from that malt mm. the more malt influence in there yep but it's yeah i i like what the nose is putting out right now yes i like how this bush is presenting now that is neatly trimmed well quaffed <laughs> um i get van i get vanilla in there do you vanilla's get? right up front yes mm, but that's... it's it's followed with like an oak bitterness that yeah i'm really digging i think that's from the bourbon influence yeah it's gotta be yeah um i look oh oh goosebumps goosebumps on, it's a, the, fi it's, on a 15 dollar whiskey it's it's the vanilla okay uh, Wasn't it the stag that gave you the goosebumps? The stag gave me goosebumps, and Booker's gave me goosebumps. Okay. So, I usually only get goosebumps at the... Goosebumps. I usually only get goosebumps at like the 130 proof range, but apparently 80 proof $15 whiskeys can do it too. I used to get goosebumps at the library. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> that was stupid. Behind the scenes is not digging this. Comment down below what your favorite Goosebumps book was. What was the one where the kid turned into a bee? The kid turned into a bee? Yeah, the cover is a kid, it's a kid's face on a bee's body. No, I don't remember that. I don't remember the name of it. Comment down below what the bee one was, if you know. I think my favorite was It Came From Beneath the Sink. I can't remember that one. It was like this weird little sponge thing that gave a kid bad luck. Oh. I remember the first one that I read, I was in fourth grade, and it was The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Ooh. That was a good one. That one scared me. I put the book in the freezer after reading that one. Okay. You've never put a book in the freezer? No, where you just like, chill out, or yeah, else time. Like, exactly. <laughs> I went from Goosebumps to Animorphs to Red Wall. Like, I went from Goosebumps to like Jurassic Park. Oh, well, that's a jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in like, like fifth grade and I'm like struggling to read this book. <laughs> I watched the movie and I'm like, why isn't this book easier? Why are there no pictures? Red Bush. Red Bush. Um, so it's got that, so triple distilled. So it's got kind of that cooling effect. Yep. Um, Look, uh, yeah. Not as much yeah. as the Bush Mills, but it, I think it's still there. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little spearmint on the nose after sipping. I'm getting it on the after on the finish. Okay. Like a minty on the finish. Yep. Not as strong as like a midnight winter's dram. Yeah. Uh, but it's there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so walking through, I get Man, that vanilla and that oak together is just that hits at the back of the palate. And then it transforms into the kind of that oak and spearmint coming out. Mm -hmm. Um but when it first hits the palate, it's like, bam, this is Bushmills, this is Irish whiskey. Um, and then that bourbon influence comes in, and I just, I really enjoy that. So I added three drops of water, and I don't know how I feel about it. No? No. Is it something I should do? Or? Please. Okay. 
So I feel like it takes like that initial does like a tiny little bite on the first sip. Yeah. Gone. Little bite. Like completely gone. It's as smooth as water. Um, and I feel like it, it tamps the yolk tannins down a lot and brings the sweetness to actually you know what? I think it just diluted it. Yeah, no, I don't like that. No. No, I just like the Yep, straight raw red bush. That was good. For 15 bucks, like... Yeah. That's good. Yep. That might be... Uh, man, that might be a baseline Irish. Mmm. Yeah, I'd say. I mean, we still have my bush to come through. Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> We're still getting size behind <laughs> the camera. Onto the black bush. Onto the black bush. Uh, so one thing that I thought was cool... This one has a cork. Ooh! <laughs> that one was real nice. That was a nice cork. I feel, I feel like I've actually... That, that was a real tightly corked bush. <laughs> you know, I feel like this past year I've gotten... I've, I've learned some of your appreciation for a tight cork. Yes. Yes, you have. Oh, That's man. full, buddy. I think that's full. One year uh, uh, coming around the bend. That is a full infinite decanter right there. Yes. I can't wait, I can't wait to split that up. One thing I was going to say is Irish whiskey is often credited with bringing ex-bourbon barrels in to age whiskey yeah, in. more often than not, I would say. Um, because they were getting around English tax on bringing in sherry barrels from Spain. So once again, Irish and American history coming together to get around English taxes. Stick it to the man. Stick it to the man. Yep. Right off the bar cart. Right off the bar cart. Um, it's been a while since we used that one. Yeah, but... <clears throat> well, I mean, we've got to bring this since the anniversary episode. We've got to bring them all back. That's true. Um, but I think it's pretty cool that it's it's that type of stuff that gets me jazzed about, like, whiskey history. Like, I've always kind of known that, oh, yeah, like, Lefroy uses Maker Mark bourbon barrels. Or, yep. Um, but that was, you know, everybody used sherry until the English were like, no, we want to do an import tax on sherry barrels. And I was like, oh, okay, well, we'll just use ex-bourbon barrels instead. Yep. And now it's like the thing. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of sherry casks. Speaking of sherry casks, this black bush has some sherry in it. The finer things. Ooh. Yeah, right? You can tell, you can get that sherry influence as well. Yep. So mash bill, I think, is very similar to the red bush. I think, I think both bushes have very similar mash bills. Um, in that the black bush has a higher percentage of the malt in the blend with the grain. Yeah. And they're both higher than the original bush mills. So the whiskey and the sherry scents are combining and giving me impressions of like glue stick. <laughs> I don't as I, I don't know what it is yet. I'm trying to put my finger on it. I was gonna say it reminds me a little bit of the Sexton. A little bit, yep, yep, yep. Um, I mean, well, I mean the Sexton. I mean, so far for an Irish whiskey, actually for most whiskeys with, that we've tried with the sherry influence, that's one of the highest ones. Yeah. That yeah. along with the Cooper's Crows. Yes. That we tried a couple weeks ago. Months ago. Time. It's weird. Yeah. There isn't, there is, I'm going to, I'm actually, you know what? Right back to the Bushmills influence. It's that antiseptic smell. Yeah. Um, or that, you know, that just that. The alcohol smell. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not bad. Um, but there's similarities between the Red Bush and there's similarities between what I remember in the Bushmills. Mm-hmm. Um, but then there's like that, to me it comes across as white wine, sherry influence. White wine and fruit, sherry influence. Yeah. I think I like the nose on the red bush a little bit more, but I am partial to red bush. I. <laughs> You're bushing that line again. You are bushing a line. Oh, damn. Uh, fun fact. Oh, fun fact. So there are some historical records that date as far back as 1276. Wow. 13th century. If anybody wants to correct my math. Anyway, <laughs> that tie the county antrum to the dis distillation of aqua vitae. Yeah. The water of life. County antrum being where Bushmills is located in Northern Ireland. Yep. Um, <clears throat> but of course, we, did, we <clears throat> didn't need to repeat that because everyone who was watching this paused this video, opened up 101 in a new tab, caught all the way up, and then came back here. Yeah. You can hit double speed, too, if you want to catch up. Hell yeah. I mean, that works. And there's... There's chapters. bookmarks, chapters. Yep. Thank you. 
That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, those records come from people coming to settle Northern Ireland, giving their soldiers aquavite to psych them up before battling Revitalize the Irish them. For, the, for the land they were trying to kick them off of. Mm-hmm. Anyway. I'm ready if you are. I'm ready. Let's do this. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not too complicated. Yeah. Man, that's... That's smooth. That's super smooth. Yeah. It's velvety. Um, what did you say one time? It was uh, Teflon. Warm Teflon. <laughs> Warm Teflon. I think I've gotten a little better <laughs> with my analogies. <laughs> warm Teflon just sticks out in my mind. Though. This, yeah. this is like warm Teflon going down my gullet. And it just it it sips like hot cocoa. Like it's just it's super smooth. It's it's really it's still thick. I think. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and you can see it. Kind of, it has got good legs. Yeah. You guys can't see it. We can see it perfectly fine. Good legs leading right up to that bush. <laughs> it's leading down. Okay. The black bush. Um. I don't know. Did we touch on it? They're both 80 proof? No, we didn't, but... 40%? You're not wrong. That's good. <laughs> uh, MSRP on the Blackbush is 30, yeah. a little bit, like mid-30s. I think it's like 30 to 35. Okay. So a little bit higher up there, and you you can tell it's fancy year because it's got a cork. That's true. That's how you tell. That's how you tell. Um, but yeah, it's got that... Man, it's like... It's just good. Yeah. <laughs> Which I know doesn't help you guys at all, but... There's a specific candy flavor that I'm trying to find. Yeah. And I can't. It's like it's somewhere it's it's somewhere around a toffee. It's toffee adjacent. Yeah. Maybe not quite as not as sweet. Yeah. But kind of that dark <clears throat> sugar bite or dark sugar. Yeah. Mouth like, feel. I, like little bits of honey almost. If Ooh, you remember honey. those candy. No, not honey, little bits of honey. Yeah. No, yes. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. Little bits of honey. Yeah, no. Or cowtails. Ooh, cowtails. That's cow what tails. I'm getting. Cowtails? Peanut, peanut Actually, yeah, so like the brittle. The brittle is, part of peanut brittle. Brittle. Yeah. brittle is close, and I'm getting cowtails, mm. like little less sweet. Cow yeah. I'm, I'm stuck on the honey now. Yeah? I'm getting that that honey bits sweetness. So like a, a sweeter honey, basically. Yep. Um, that's in there, and then there's that kind of fruit sweetness that's riding throughout as well. I think it's the sherry influence. Yep. Um, Very uh, bready in the in the finish, I think, too. Yeah. Odie. Uh, oh, like the dog? No, O-T. Oh, O-T. Yeah, like oats. Like fruity like Odie bars. O-T. O-T. Okay. <laughs> uh... We you can't have an anniversary Serenity episode. Serenity reference. I was gonna. That, that was an office reference. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Oh, <laughs> but okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cross referencing. Yeah, we've we, crossed we, the we, streams. You can't cross the streams. We've crossed the streams. Can't do that. So, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and succinctly say what's happening in my mouth with this bush. Um. First hit, and again, just like the red bush, I it first hits my mouth, and I'm like, eh, it's bush mills. Mm-hmm. But then it kind of it transforms, and it it kind of coats your mouth a little bit, and you get that honey sweetness, that that fruit from the sherry casks, like honey sweetness, fruit sweetness, um, and it's just like a roundness to the to the palate that it's 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 really nice. And then there's no bite to this at all. Nope. It's the equivalent of drinking water, like from a bite perspective. Yep. Alcohol bite perspective. Yep. Um, I agree with that. Short, short er finish. I think from the red bush. Yeah. Um, I think so. A little bit of that spice kind of creeps in during the finish and then persists, but mm -hmm. you don't breathe it as long as you would. And uh, actually, uh, with other whiskeys that we've tried. Yeah. Well, we got kind of spearminty on the red bush. Yeah. I, on the finish, I get that's where the kind of that spice comes in. Mm -hmm. um, and I almost get, I'm trying to place it now on the finish. Um, mm, not quite licorice -y, but 
close to that. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Like, um, if you want to give... Like your, a oh, tarragon almost. If you want to give uh, some legs to your finish, water. Yeah? A little bit, yep. Yeah. I think it boosts... It doesn't do anything for the, for the palate up front. It doesn't do anything for the nose. It just kind of boosts the spice in the finish a little bit, which I like in this one. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that really wake really wakes it up. Yep. Wakes it up inside. It wakes it up inside. Uh, no, no, good. I like I like the watery bush. <laughs> okay. Last uh, one. Is that the last? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I really I don't know what to do for like closing thoughts here because we're we're just doing this for us. I mean, we're doing it for you guys too. Well, yeah, but I mean, but. This is our way. So this is the first in a three-part limited anniversary series where we revisit our one-on-ones. Yes. With alternate expressions. Yeah. Who knows it, when we get, if we get to 301. Yeah. When we get to 301, maybe we'll do the 10-year and the 16-year. 301s, we're just going to sit down with a full bottle and see how far we can get into it. <laughs> we'll just live stream getting through a bottle of a 10-year Bushmills. Uh, yeah, I'm down. That's a good idea. Out of the yeah. three. Yeah, what would Bush, we lean towards? Bushman's original, red bush, black bush. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? I, so, black bushman's original and red bush are about the same price. I think. Yeah. Bushman's original is like twelve, thirteen dollars, and then red bush is like fifteen dollars. So, I mean, they're they're almost the same price there. If I had to choose at that price range, I'd pick up red bush. Yep. I All think yeah, long. having that bourbon influence actually it took it like right to a new level. Yeah. Out of all three, I think I'd go Blackbush. I, I would agree with you. Yeah? I think, especially if I wanted something in the bar that I could give to folks that haven't had, maybe it's their first introduction to Irish whiskey, mm -hmm. um, or maybe it's something that's it's a little bit more special, but I can't get over the way my mouth felt as the Blackbush. <laughs> I mean, it was smooth. I mean, yeah, I said that in the weirdest way possible. Mm. So I'll tell you this. I was expecting to like the bu the, the red bush a little more yeah. because of how much I liked the Black Barrel Jameson's yeah. with that bourbon influence. Um, but I, I'll tell you, I, I mean, yeah, I agree with you. I guess I agree with my original sentiment sentiment here that the Black Bush is just superior to the red bush. Well, I don't know if it's, I would use the word superior. It's 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 just it's thicker, it's bolder bodied, it's cleaner. It is much smoother. <laughs> it's it's much, a lot smoother. Um. <laughs> but I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I think we spent a lot of time here, kind of running our fingers through these. Yes, we did bushes. Yeah, and I think I I, I stand behind, I stand behind the black bush. I'm gonna go with the red bush. All right, and that's nothing to do with the color. It's all about what it did to my mouth. <laughs> oh, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't do a banner in the one on one. So we didn't have banners for the. We didn't have banners in the one on ones. So um, we had no. Actually, the very first one was, it was just a, a floating number. It was just a floating number. The banner first was introduced in Bourbon One Hundred and One. Yes. But we do, I mean, we do have, I mean, we could do a banner and just put our, our picks here. I think we should. Yeah. So here we go. Ready? That was deep. <laughs> I wanted to go deep for that one. Okay. I, it came up from like here. Getting philosophical. You know, it's the one year anniversary, you know, I'm feeling, I'm looking back at the past, you know. I got you. Thinking about where we've been and. That's nostalgia. Who we were then, who we are now. I can taste mash bills now. Like. That's true. <laughs> like you've transcended. <laughs> if you liked what you saw here today, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, we're, we're jumping into year two now. So this is the first of our kickoff anniversary series, but we're jumping headfirst into year two into the unknown because honestly, we don't know what it's going to look like right now. But give us some comment down below. Let us know what you want to see, anything you want us to try. Um, join our Discord because I think... A lot of what we're going to do is going to be, be focused on that. Focus yeah. on the Discord uh, with some YouTube tie-ins here and there. Yep. Um, check us out on Instagram. Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. I'm sorry, I've been drinking. Instagram. Copyright. Instagram. 
So I'm sorry, I've been, I've been drinking. Uh, <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Discord, link below. Check us out. I mean, check out the uh, the one on ones if you haven't already. It's uh, hopefully you can see that we've grown. Yeah, go bit. back. Go back to our first one on one and check out our bush then. Yes. Thank you for checking out our bushes now. Yes. I. <laughs> and no matter how you like your bush, <laughs> that's the that's right, the right way. way. <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.